Irrational numbers give you answers like this. That's the next problem. So let me clear that. I need to move 96Z over, use the zero principle. Sit, uh, 16 z squared. I'm going to subtract 96 z from both sides. Minus 96 z plus 142 equals zero. This is a quadratic trinomial and we can solve it but we can't solve it by factoring. Although, although, we are going to see if, I know two goes into all these numbers. I'm now going to divide by four just to see if four goes into all those numbers. And if it does, I'm gonna divide by 16 and maybe, maybe we'll have a GCF. The more you can reduce these numbers, the better, the easier your work is going to be. Oh, come on, don't, don't annoy me. All right, I guess I better type something. Um, let's try, we know that 16 will go into 16. Let's try 16 into 96. 96 divided by 16. Okay, it does. Let's try 142. 142 divided by 16. It doesn't. Okay. See the decimal? Eh. All right, now we're gonna try four. Eight, doggone it, eight. I know eight goes into 16, how about 96? Of course it does if 16 does. Divided by eight. 142 divided by eight. Eh. Okay. We'll go to four. I know four goes into 16. So how about 96? I know it goes into 96, but I'll do it anyway. Four goes into 96 evenly, 142 divided by four. No. All right, we're gonna have to settle for two, dividing by two. So here we go. Um, I am going to do the following. 16 divided by two, 96 or negative 96 divided by two, 142 divided by two and zero divided by two. This is called dividing through by two or dividing out a two. Now 16 divided by two is eight. So I'll have eight C squared. And 96 divided by two is 48 minus 48 Z plus that 71 equals zero divided by two, which is zero. Our numbers are smaller and you are gonna be very, very glad of that in just a minute. But before that point, let us remember that A is eight, B is negative 48, and C is 71. And we're going to use A, B, and C in the 
the quadratic formula. X equals negative B plus or minus the square root of B squared minus 4AC all over 2A. People with children get to sing that to them. But you should sing it to yourself, to your partner if you have one, um, every night before you go to bed and every morning when you get up. It's an excellent method of birth control. <laughs> OK, I didn't say that. Um, now, we're going to sing it again. X equals, oh, it's too high for me. X equals negative B plus or minus the square root of B squared minus 4AC all over 2A. That's how you memorize it. That's how I memorized it. Okay, but I keep writing it over and over again. Here we go. Only this time we're using Z and not X. So Z equals negative B plus or minus the square root of B squared minus 4AC all over, all over. Start at the minus sign in front of the B, the negative sign, all over 2A. Negative B plus or minus the square root of B squared minus 4AC all over 2A. Okay. There it is. Now, all I have to do is look up here. A is 8. B is negative 48. So Z equals negative 48. No, it doesn't. It equals negative, negative 48. Plus or minus the square root of B squared. You've got to put it in parentheses. You're probably going to be using a calculator. If it's not in parentheses, I guarantee you won't get the right answer. So do it. Whenever you're using your calculator, negative numbers need to be in parentheses. B squared minus four times A times C. What an ugly number. Over 2A. Let's make sure that's right. That's a B, that's a B, that's an A, that's a C, that's an A. Okay. All right, we're ready to boogie here. Z equals positive 48 plus or minus the square root of. Now just wait. You'll be glad you did. I am not going to take a square root. Instead, what I'm going to, because I don't know that that's a perfect square. In fact, if we're going to get irrational numbers, it is not a perfect square. So we have to do this the long way, but the calculator helps. Parentheses, negative 48. Whoops, whoops, you need to see what I'm doing, don't you? That would help. Parentheses, negative 48, parentheses closed. There's an X squared button over here on the left. X squared, that puts a two up there. Negative 48 squared minus four times eight times 71. Minus four times eight times 71. Enter, that's 32. That's not a perfect square, but it's got a perfect square in it. So, down we go and here we are back. 
the square, you see how long I made it? That's why I try to make it short in the beginning. Let's try this. 32 over 16. Now there's something we have to do to the square root of 32. If you remember simplifying radicals, that's something a lot of people don't like also, but this one is not gonna be too hard because 32 equals 16 times two, which is when they're multiplied inside, the square root of 16 times the square root of two. The square root of two is irrational. I just showed you that you cannot get a fraction out of it. Um, however, the square root of 16, 16 is a perfect square. That means I can take the square root of 16 and get a four. Four times the square root of two. So the square root of 32 is four times the square root of two. Let's move on up. Go from here. Let's see how far up. Yeah, well, I don't know. Up here. Z equals 48 plus or minus four times the square root of two over 16. Now there's something else you have to do, even though it's a pain. All right, you have to now realize, well, actually you don't. Yeah, yeah, never mind. Z equals 48 over 16 plus or minus 4 times the square root of 2 over 16. 48 divided by 16 is 3. 3 times 16 is 48. So, Z equals three plus or minus. Now watch this. You can't do, that two cannot talk to 16. They cannot interact. But four is not locked up under the radical. Four can talk to 16. Four can say, oh wow, 16, you're four times four. I can cancel with one of your fours. And 16 says, cool, dude. So we have the square root of two over four. Therefore, therefore, Z is going to equal three minus the square root of two over four, comma, 3 plus the square root of 2 over 4. And that. Yeah. I know it's terrible, isn't it? Let's see if my answer agrees. Yeah. Each of these is an irrational x-intercept, actually. These are the zeros, the x-intercepts. Are 3 minus the square root of 2 over 4, comma, 0 and three plus 
the square root of two over four comma zero. And I promise you've done this before. This is part of algebra two or intermediate algebra. So somewhere far in the past, your brain cells, they're starting to itch because they know you've done this before. But this is how you do it. Not all quadratic equations give you nice solutions. Some of them give you irrational solutions and you have to work very, very hard. Let's do another one. There are times when we have to step outside our number system, the real number system. We're going to get zeros here that are not in the real number system and not on the x-axis. Those are complex numbers. And you also have covered complex numbers in algebra two and intermediate algebra. This is where you've got the real number system, our real number system with all the numbers we know and love and don't love so much. And then much bigger than the real number system and all around it is the complex number system, complex. And the major, 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 major difference between the real number system and the complex number system is that the square root of negative one is just a normal number in the complex number system. And everybody who's going into engineering will become very familiar with that number because it occurs in real life. We just, everyday people never have to deal with it or even know it's there. And you're going to see me use it here. The most important thing we're going to deal with here is that you have to know that the square root, uh, the square root of negative one which does not exist in our number system. It does exist in the complex number system. That's referred to by the letter I. And um, I squared is the square root of negative one squared. The square and the square root cancel each other out. And we're left with a negative one. So you'll see as we do this, we are going to have to use the quadratic formula. A is one. B is negative one. And C is two and x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So x equals negative, negative 1 plus or minus the square root of negative one squared minus four times one times two over two times one. I need to put my little dealy there. Okay. Okay, X equals Negative of negative one is positive one. Plus or minus the square root of 
Negative one times negative one is positive one. Minus four times one times two, that's minus eight. Over two. And that equals one plus or minus the square root of negative seven over two. Now we have to talk briefly, briefly about the square root of negative seven. It is very clear. If you put this in your calculator, clear, the square root of negative seven, I step to the outside there, the square root of negative seven, and then I hit enter. Error, non-real answer. That's the error message. Yep. That does not exist in our number system, the real number system. It exists in the complex number system. So, there's a way to work with it. Watch me. Let me pull it up. Equals the square root of negative one times seven. Now, you know and I know that negative one times seven is negative seven. These two numbers are multiplied. Therefore, I can take separate square roots. OK, now this is where you have to remember what the square root of negative one is. It is I. Times the square root of seven. Now, I have to look and see the form they want you to put this in, and I didn't say. This is a perfectly good answer. X equals, oh, no, it doesn't. It's not an answer. That's just what that is. That is going to equal I times the square root of seven. All right, here I go. So X equals. One plus or minus I times the square root of seven over two. And if you remember this from intermediate algebra, there's a special form that we have to put this in because it's a complex number. And this is A plus B I. And here's what that means here. One, see, trust me, one over two plus or minus the square root of seven over two, come out to the side and write I. That is the totally correct form of the answer. 